Hey guys, Justin from BK Thai Boxing here. <laughs> Today we're going to go over long range weapons, the punches, and the front kick, aka the T. So let's get to it. We should know the stance by now. It was taught in the first video, where you have one foot in front, one leg in the back. If you're righty like me, your right hand and your right leg are going to be in the back and your hands are up. Now, making a fist. Tight fist, your thumbs across the middle digits right there. Hands up, your knuckles are facing the ceiling. And I'm here guarding my face, super important. Focusing a little bit more on the footwork for today, that back leg to shove forward, stopping ourselves with the front leg. My back leg is meant to push me forward, my front leg is meant to keep me from falling forward. Going backwards, my front leg's gonna shove me back and my right leg's gonna catch myself from tumbling back. So you gotta be able to shove with both legs, shove, catch, shove, catch. Same thing going backwards, shoving with the front leg, shove, catch, shove, catch. Just like that. When I'm jabbing, I'm shoving off my rear foot the same way to jab, right back, jab, right back. You know the cross, cross, right back, turning that back foot, hip, and shoulder for that cross. Those two punches are going to be very important for today's lesson. So for two minutes, we're going to warm up. We're going to start off with just the jab coming in and out, in, out, jab. My rear hand is up, pushing off my right leg to throw that jab, landing on that front foot and jabbing at the same time, pulling it back. And initiating that pullback by pushing off my left foot and stepping with my rear foot to drag myself back. Jab, back, jab, back, jab, jab, jab. Hands are up, jab, jab. It's now from here. Following up with that cross, I push off my rear foot, throwing that jab, I twist that back foot, hip, and shoulder for that cross, twisting and rotating to shove back and pull back. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, moving around. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Moving your head, sinking into the floor, low, to hit with power and pulling back, light up the feet in between. Two breaths for jab cross, right back. Now from here, double jab. I'm gonna shoot forward, pushing off my rear foot twice. One and two for the double jab. Back, back. Now I rotate my hand twice. Rotate the hand, bringing it back to your head, pushing off the foot and rotating the hand again for that second jab. Back, back. Jab, jab, back, back. Those of you more advanced, you can go to the side. Jab, jab, and stepping back, back. Now ideally, you don't want to step back to the middle because that's where you're going to get hit. If you're going to move in one direction, you want to move in that direction until it doesn't work anymore or until right before it doesn't work any anymore, I should say. Jab, jab to the side, jab, jab forward. And that's up to you. Nice. Now from here, let's do one minute. Jab, jab, cross, double jab. Ba, ba. Staying still for that cross, pulling back, back. Jab, jab, cross, back, back. Staying low in your legs and really shoving forward for the jabs, sitting and rotating for that cross. Jab, jab, cross. Those of you more advanced, you can go to the side. Jab, jab, cross. More forward, jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. We're gonna use all these movements today, so make sure you're warmed up and you're feeling good. Jab, jab, crawl. Rotate, rotate, cross. Jab, jab, 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 cross, and time. Now I'm gonna go over the front leg teeth. Front leg teeth. This is how it looks like. Shh. This is how I'm gonna throw it. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm in my stance, my hands are up. If your hands are not here, you're not gonna get as much power in the leg. I'm gonna explain why right now. Knee up, drawing the hips back, balancing on my base foot. 
and I'm going to squeeze my butt and drive the hips forward to launch back to releasing one hand, the same side hand as my leg. And that's the T. And you always want to land with balance. The part of the T that you want to hit with is the part of the ball of the foot that you also jump with. So you want that launch at the end of the T like you're jumping off someone's body. Let's do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that we know the front leg tape, let's go over the rear leg tape. Rear leg tape, very similar to the front leg tape. However, there is a range discrepancy. From here, when I throw my front tape, if you could see it against the wall, that's the max range I have. But because of my front leg is a lot closer to my target, it gives me a lot more range when I throw that rear tee. The mechanics are still the same. I wanna bring my knee up, point my, pointing my knee to my target, and then releasing by snapping my hips forward and releasing the arm to throw that tee. You just wanna be more mindful about the range. Now from here, this is the tee. Up, tee. Back down, drawing it back. Remember, don't fall forward. You always want to land in your stance like it's the home button. Let's do 10 of those. That's one. That's two, keeping one hand up and driving the other hand. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. And those are the tapes. Because there's a range discrepancy between the tapes, the combinations that you throw will be different for both of them. All right, let's get into our first combination with the tape. Starting with the front leg tape. Looks like this. I'm gonna throw my front leg tape. Boom, landing in my stance, stepping forward, because I always step forward for that jab cross. Ba, ba drawing back. Now, a little tip. When I throw that tee, you don't want to fall into the jab cross. I tee, land, step again, jab cross, back. Once again, front leg tee, I draw it up. It's hitting the person in the stomach, it's going to stop them right there in front of me. My legs are going to be longer than my arms, so I have to step in for that jab cross, coming back. Let's do that combination for one minute. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Keeping my hands up. Just like that. more advanced you could also fake the tee put it down jab cross the only way you can earn that fake is if you hit them with one first make them respect it fake it land stepping in jab cross tee jab cross back tee jab cross back tee face hoop fake jab and time, one minute. Now onto the second combination. Now remember what I said, right? And keep this in mind, that the front leg tape and the rear leg tape are gonna be very different and the combinations are gonna be very different. Now the rear leg tape, because it's coming from behind, it has a lot more time to generate uh, force and power before it hits somebody. If it does hit somebody, if they're not knocked out on their butt, uh, they're gonna be really far away. It's gonna be hard to chase them down with punches. This is what the combination looks like. <laughs> Whereas now I have an extra step. I throw two jabs before I connect with that cross. I throw my right tee. The first jab, even the first two jabs may not land, but that cross might land. So get used to traveling forward after the tee, especially that rear tee. Once again, tee, jab, jab, cross. Tee, jab, jab, cross. 
Let's do that for one minute. For those of you advanced, get used to chasing somebody down with the jab, spiraling forward, but to the side. Because if after I throw a front kick at somebody, by the time I catch up to them, if they're good and well-trained, they're gonna be recovered. So to avoid that, getting to the side, to avoid anything straight coming at me, and then launch the cross. See, jab, jab, cross. Coming to the side. Very team. Jab, jab, cross. Back, back. Team. Jab, jab, cross. Rear team. Jab, jab, cross. And time. Those are the combinations with the front kick. The ability to throw the teeps fast is super important in Thai boxing. You gotta be able to throw the teep when someone's rushing at you. Right? So it's not always up to you. You gotta be able to just snap right into that tape. We're gonna do a speed drill just to make sure those tapes are firing quick. And they should, they should kind of look like a snake bite where it draws back and then it goes out to bite. So from here, in my stance, starting off with the front leg, we're gonna do 30 seconds bouncing. Every time the foot hits the floor, you're gonna bounce back up. Teep, bounce, teep, bounce, teep. Easy. And this is what the drill looks like. Trying to coordinate that front foot and that hand to move in a synchronized way and keeping your balance with on your base leg and keeping this hand up the whole time. Ready? Let's do that for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, and go. seconds. All right, now the rear teep is going to be just like that front leg teep. However, the only difference is, is that you're going to be bouncing the leg from behind up into that teep and right back behind you. So it's not landing in front of you like the front teep was. It's behind, behind, behind. And as soon as it hits the ground, you're using the floor, kind of like an ostrich running, and you're going to grip the floor and launch that teep. Grip and launch. Just like that. Let's do 30 seconds with that rear seat. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Just like that, 30 seconds. So we're gonna head into our first two minute round with the punches and the front kicks. Now, you're gonna alternate between the two combinations that we did for a minute each. So the first one that we did, front leg tape, stepping in for one jab, right cross. Second combination we did was the rear leg front tape, following up twice, jab, jab, right cross, that double jab cross to finish up that rear tape combination. So let's alternate between those two combinations for two minutes now. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's hit it. Moving the head, moving the feet, forward, back. Hands up.
Two minutes. Easy. All right, moving into the champion round. Champion round. Two minutes of everything. Everything needed the punches and the front kick. Now, it doesn't have to be in the order that I taught you. I want you to get used to throwing the hands and the legs whenever you want to. So from here, you could throw one jab, one front kick. You could throw left, right front kick. And that's up to you. It's whatever you're comfortable with. So you don't have to do what I'm doing. But if you do get lost or confused, just remember, you have the two combinations that I gave you. And it's up to you to figure out your combinations. But have it make sense. Where you have long range, you need to step in to get that mid-range with the hands. So just make sure it makes sense. Or you go mid-range, stepping back, then the long range. Up to you, and that's fine too. Ready, champion round. Three, two, one, and go. even include the fake. Hip, fake. Two minutes. And time. Two minutes. Congrats on finishing the champion round. Hopefully, you're able to do these videos without any rest. If not, those will be your goals. Thanks for watching, and we'll be seeing you again. <laughs> okay, ready?